Hey everyone, let's solve the third problem from bi-weekly contest 89 that is minimize maximum of array. You are given a zero indexed array nums comprising of n non-negative integers. In one operation, you must choose an index between 1 and n and uh, at that uh, index, the value must be positive and we can decrease that value by 1 and also we have to increase the value, uh, the previous value to it by 1. And doing this operation any number of times, we have to return the minimum possible value of the maximum integer of this array. Right. So let's understand this with an example. So this is the example that we have. So what we can do is we can choose an index between 1 to n. Right. And let's say we choose this index. So we have to decrease the value at this index by 1. And also we have to increase the value before it by 1. So we will get 4, 6, 1, 6. So this will be the array after one operation. So basically what we want to do is by doing this operation any number of times, we have to minimize the maximum that we can get of this out of this array. Right. So maximum at this point was 7. Now the maximum is 6. So if we perform the operation again, we will uh, let's say we perform the operation here, right? On the second element, we will get 5, 5, 1, 6 is still the maximum is 6. Can we do the operation again? Yes, we can do the operation again here, right? So if we do the operation on the fourth element, we will get 5, 5, 2, 5, right? So now the maximum value is 5. Can we do the operation furthermore, right? We cannot do the operation furthermore because then we will be increasing the maximum, right? So uh, that means 5 is the answer. This is the optimal maximum that we can reach. Right now, let's discuss how can we solve this uh, question. So there are two observations for this problem. The first one being uh, that uh, whatever will be the optimal maximum, it will always lie between the range minimum of the array to the maximum of it. Okay, it will always lie within this range. Right, the optimal value. Now. The second thing that you need to observe is because we can perform the operation any number of times, right? So let, let's observe one thing here. So let's see we perform the operation here first on this part and then we perform the operation this part, right? So what we will get, we will get 3, 7. If we perform the operation, let's first we are performing on this part, we will get 2, 5. Then we will perform the operation onto this part, right? We will get 3, 8, 1, 5. If you notice, uh, if you look at this and this, right? So you see that the second element remains the same, right? But what has, uh, what, what is being done is that uh, this has been decreased by one and this is increased by one. So can we say that uh, we can take any element and we can decrease any element previous to it, right? Any element previous to it by one, right? Because we can perform this operation any number of times. So, so, so in that case, like if we are decreasing this by one, sorry, increasing this by one and decreasing this by one, that means we did the operation here and then here and then here. But, but we, we don't, we don't have a limit on the number of operations that we can perform, right? So that means we can, you know, take any index and we can decrease, uh, and we can increase all the values before it by one. So let's see how we can solve it. Now we discussed that the optimal maximum will always lie into this range, right? So let's say we, we take one out of it, right? Assume that this is, uh, this is the optimal that value that we have. Now two cases arise, right? So now the first thing that we want to do is we want to make all these elements of the array less than equal to this optimal, right? less than equal to this optimal that is the meaning of the maximum right so if we want to make uh, everything less than equal to the optimal we have to perform certain operations right how can we do that right so let's take a variable called extra right so the two cases that will arise is that the array element will either be less than optimal right or it will be greater than optimal right so we will traverse from here right will traverse from here so this extra variable is basically to calculate how much uh, you know buffer that we have right how much operations that we can do so basically let, let's discuss first so let's say uh, let's say the array element is less than optimal what we will do is we will add 
the extra amount to this extra variable for later calculations right so when this array element will become greater than optimal we can simply we can simply decrease the amount uh, a minus optimal from this extra right now one thing that we need to notice is if if this value becomes greater than extra if this value becomes greater than extra that means that the optimal value that we choose out of this range is actually not the optimal value why because because uh, what we are essentially doing is we can only increase the values right to the of the previous elements by uh, first of all we have to make you know all the elements less than equal to optimal and if we want to increase all the values we have already added the extra amount into this extra variable and this extra variable should always be greater than this amount right if this if this a minus optimal when the array element is greater than optimal becomes greater than extra that means either we will not be able to get the optimal maximum value or we will we will have to make some of the values inside this array negative which is which is not possible right that is, it is given in the question that all the to perform the operation the array element should be positive integers so that means this is this is the case where you know we will know that this is not optimal the second case that we, uh, where we will know that we don't have optimal is when this element this element is greater than the optimal value right if this is greater than the optimal value then definitely we cannot obtain an answer for that right so that is not the optimal maximum the optimal maximum will become this itself because we can we can only increase the element uh, the first element right we cannot we can never decrease it right so that uh, that is another case now let's move on to the code part so basically this is the is valid function is doing the same now the second thing that we need to notice is the second thing that we need to notice is if we traverse into minimum to maximum range basically what we are trying to do is we are traversing in the minimum to maximum range right so we are taking some values out of it and we are checking if they are optimal right all of the values out of this range but that solution will be in o of n square which will give tle so how can we decrease it so this is essentially this is first of all this is in sorted uh, so, so this is sorted right this is an increasing order right so can we can we apply binary search can we apply binary search here what we will do is we will take a element called left right which will be equal to zero and a minimum called uh, and another element called right which will be equal to the maximum given in this question the maximum given in this question is 10 raised power 9 right the maximum given in the question is 10 raised power 9 so we will check for all the values between it right we will check between all the values within the stage but we will apply binary search right now how will we decide in like if we want to apply binary search we have to decide which part of the array that we want to move move to right so that is what this function is doing that is that we just saw is valid function right what it is checking is first of all right so it's checking it it has taken an extra a variable and then it checks if the variable uh, if the array element is less than the maximum that we took the optimal maximum that we have assumed we will add this amount to extra right otherwise if it is greater we have to decrease it but if it becomes greater than extra as we discussed in that case we will not be having the optimal maximum right so we will return false now this bool function returns false for these two cases so if it returns false we will move to the right part ra, uh, right part of the array now right uh, why right part because this is not the optimal maximum it is actually less right so we have to move to the right part of the array otherwise if this returns true th that means we have to move left uh, to the left part of the array until 
we reach a uh, mid that is the optimal value of the uh, uh, maximum of this array. 